here we go back with steel trying the apricot soap oh yeah beautiful so i just push it all towards the center Flip it around. All right, what do you think? Mm, that smells so good. If you love apricot, you will love this. I did spend some time tweaking the formula so I could make one that was okay for her allergies. I do take a lot of custom requests. I've got several customers that are allergic to coconut oil, so I've had to create soap for them. I have a few vegan friends. I'm in Kentucky. Not very many of my friends are vegan. We're meat eaters here. But if you are vegan and you want a soap, just let me know. I would love to create one for you. I've been asked why don't I just do vegan soaps and there are so many skin benefits of using tallow in soap. It makes for a nice hard bar of soap that lasts longer. If you've got a soft bar of soap, it'll be, it won't last very long in the shower. You'll be replacing that soap every couple of weeks. Whereas one made with tallow, I use one small bar of soap and it lasts me a month. So anything I can do to make my bars of soap harder, I really try to. This one's going to be a little too soupy to decorate yet. Um, if you have object objections to using palm oil, palm oil makes... A bar of soap lather it also makes it harder um, but if for you know environmental reasons you don't want a palm oil soap let me know I can make one for you I just use the things that I know make a good bar of soap look at that There we go. Hmm. This one got warm. The process of turning oil and lye into soap there's a chemical reaction and it puts off heat so i run the risk of waiting too long to texture my tops and it's set or i start too early and the soap is too warm so we'll give that one a few minutes 
and it will look just like this one. All right, guys, I'll talk to you later.